Hey YouTube, the Black Wing volume is in, and so that's what we're going to be discussing in this video. Unboxing time. I have not looked inside here yet, but I did open the plastic tape. Now I'm ready to open this up and we're going to see this together. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, we have some changes here. It's the volume 840, and it comes in a new shaped box. This is quite different. And this looks pretty interesting as well. That's supposed to be the new pencil. And so far, I'm liking what I see. But I don't want to jump too far ahead. So let's put this aside for a moment, and let's take a look at what else is in here. I see I have myself a little black wing book where I can write my notes. Pretty cool. And it looks like it's some kind of consistent theme going on here. I noticed that on the pencil as well. It has this line thing here. That's right there as well. And it looks like it's the edge of the state I was born in. Looks like the coast of California. And I was born somewhere over here in Hollywood. All right. What else do we have? Oh, well, this has changed too. Nice. Okay, I still think it's plastic. I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Well, I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I think it's plastic. But look at this. This is really, really cool. The label is longer now. And we're going to have to get a really big close up here to read it. But it's the Blackwing Volumes 840 and it says that the finish is the Golden Coast. Oh, okay, makes sense. It's golden and it's a coastline of California for the Golden State of California. At least it used to be golden. Okay, let's see. Ferrell and Clip is gold and gold. Clip, Ferrell and Clip. The clip must be the what they call the part that actually holds the eraser. All right. The eraser is light gray. The imprint is light gray. The graphite is balanced, my favorite, like the pearl. And then that's supposed to be the, of course, what it would look like when you use it. And then it shows March 2020. This thing is really cool. Wow, that is interesting. It even has a, a cork into it. Look at that. That is slick, so you can just take it out and check it out. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, there's that gray imprint, Blackwing 840, gold ferrule. And, of course, you have the, this must be what they call the clip right there. You pull it out, you can adjust the eraser. You got a white eraser. It slides right back in. Easy peasy, part cheesy. Especially for those who like that game. And look at that paint job. Does it talk about the paint job? Let's see. It says the finish. It just says the finish is Golden Coast. Hmm. Okay. I think uh, it could add some more information. You want to know what they could add? While they call the finish Golden Coast, they're giving this a name. It should tell us what color this is. Um, it's kind of a teal color, I think. But it should say, you know, the paint is teal. And then it has, you know, the Golden Coast little imprint on there. But anyway... That's just a minor, minor. 
All right, well, this is my collection pencil here because it comes into this tube. Yeah, I think that's I think that's plastic. I I don't think it's glass. I think it's plastic. I hmm. Yeah. Then you put the little cork back in. I'm not going to sharpen this puppy, of course. I'm going to put that one away. And let me get this out of the way. So let's go ahead and examine the box itself. But that's the new box. Very interesting. Each quarter we release a new limited edition pencil celebrating the people, places, and events that have defined our creative culture. More info is found right there. Okay, and then over here we get the rundown. It's called the surfing pencil. The ancient art of surfing arrived on the coast of Northern California in 1907, but it wasn't until surf icon Duke Kahanamoku or Kahanamuku popularized the sport on the beaches of Southern California in the decades that followed that really took hold. Duke was a Renaissance man. He mastered the ukulele and acted in Hollywood. Hey, that's where I was born. He won an Olympic gold medal in the 100 meter freestyle and wrote the definitive history of the Hawaiian flag. He once saved eight men from drowning in the 30 foot swells of Chubasco using only a surfboard. He was the living embodiment of surfing's nomadic DIY lifestyle that carved its way into California's spirit in the 20th century and still carries on today. The Blackwing 840 is a tribute to Duke Kahanamuku and the enlightened lifestyle he helped cultivate through surfing. It features a sea green barrel. Okay, so instead of teal, I guess it's sea green. That's probably what it should have been on that plastic tube. Uh, with a gold foil accent and the shape of the California coastline. It also features our balanced graphite and a gold eraser clip. Duke popularized surfing along California's 840 mile coast. But the lifestyle left in his wake has influenced people around the world. So you see right there where it says finish. It probably should have added this uh, sea green thing as the color like the paint job sea green but anyway I'm just picky that way so you can push this little puppy right off the top here and check this out okay so this one here is a top loader and that's interesting right there that's a nice little added something something the bottom isn't quite impressive got a barcode so you pull this puppy off the top, and there she is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It looks like it can hold more pencils. That's a lot of room in there. Hmm. So did they just make the box a little too big? I don't know. But anyway, there you go. So. Here's my new pencil, and the next thing I need to do is I need to sharpen it so that we can write with it. I'm going to use my little AFMAT sharpener here. Alright. And there's a close-up. Super long point. That's what that sharpener gives me. And that wood is high quality cedar, which you can always expect from the folks at Cal Cedar and Blackwing. The core is pretty well centered, just mild offset. You can tell when one side is sharpened deeper than the other. That's because the core is slightly off here or there within the shaft of the pencil. Rarely are you going to get a perfect down the center, but that's pretty close. So that's not too bad. Now if you get it really drastic where it sharpens way down here and this one's only sharpened near the top, then you know that that core is off a little bit. And of course that, that's not really pleasant. It's kind of a drag really. Okay, now just so happens to test out the pencil, I need some paper. And I happen to have some 
right here. So why don't we try this little puppy out? And I need to first get this plastic thing off of here. So I'm going to use the point of my pencil to get it started. And to mark up my book a little bit because that's how I roll. Oh, okay. Let me give you some first impressions. This cover feels nice. It feels like smooth leather, has a leather feel, and it's very, very substantial. It's, it's thick. I feel like I've, I've got to, like, maybe you should have something open here, but it's just really thick. It's smooth, leathery smooth, and thick. It's very substantial, and the back is also very thick. Okay, that is a substantial cover. And yeah, it does not come apart. That is actually how thick this puppy is. Well, let's check out what we have in here. It says here, started and completed dates, and it found contact. So of course, to do this the right way, I'm going to put Rick's in here, and that writes really, really nice. So contact Rick's, okay? You know where to find him, right? Right here. Here. No, here. Yeah. All right. And let's take a look at some of this paper here. This is really nice. Has these dots on the page. Helps you to align or draw things based on dimensions or whatever. They're, they're, they're for guiding. You know, it, it helps guide you in your writing or your drawing. And I'm not sure how many pages you have here, but it looks like about 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's about 24 pages in here. Uh, when I say page, I mean each each one of these. Okay. Then, of course, you have the, the blank one in the front. And then you have this blank one on the end. So you can do whatever you want on there. Then in the very back, you have this here. It says the anatomy of a wave. You have your wave frequency, the number of wave crests passing point A each second. So here's your A. And how many times does it hit here? That's, that's your wave frequency. And your wave period is a time required for the wave crest at A to reach B. So that would be your wave period. So the frequency is the number of waves that pass point A and the period is the time required from it to go from A to B. Okay, so that's your wavelength. Then you have your direction to travel, your wave height, your trowel, your crest, your calm sea level is kind of like the mean between the two. Interesting. Okay. And that actually follows cycle waves, waves and electronics, and so forth. There's a connection to all that, but that's a whole different video and a whole different channel. Something that I've studied a lot in, personally. But anyway, there you go. Boy, that, is, that really feels great. So, this, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit there, okay? But this... is my test of the Blackwing volume and what was it? It's the 840 smooth dark balanced and totally enjoyable yes this is awesome this is nice one of my favorites now I love the look of this pencil they did a great job on the Blackwing 840 and I always love the balance pencils those are my personal favorites anything that has the same graphite as the pearl 
which is my favorite of the generic black wings and any of these volumes that come out with the balance always seem to be my favorites i just like the fact that they write dark enough they're all very smooth and yet they're they're not of the real firm where yeah you don't sharpen it as much but it doesn't write as dark so i like it right in the middle and that's what this is balanced and great okay well that's awesome and of course you always get 12 to a box plus you get the additional one inside the plastic tube which is makes up your collectors and i really like what they did with this in this new tube i like this new tube better than the older tube i like the cork i think the cork is a great addition has the little black wing stamp on the end of the cork there get that in focus there it is which matches of course the black wing logo they have right here pretty slick additions has it right here it's embossed you can feel it is embossed excellent very nice little notebook all right well that concludes this video unboxing of the volume 840 black wing and i am considering this one a winner all right if you agree with me please post down below and give me a like if you don't agree with me please post that below and also give me a like hey thanks a lot i really appreciate that you helped my channel subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you in the next video bye